Hello, my name is Kathleen Lisson, and I am going to share um, some research proven ideas on how to recover from your liposuction surgery. I am a certified lymphedema therapist and a board certified massage therapist. We're here at my studio in Pacific Beach, San Diego right now, and I help my clients after plastic and cosmetic surgery to reduce swelling and get rid of the lumps and bumps that come with liposuction. Um, today's study is from the Indian Journal of Plastic Surgery. It is uh, the 2013, and the title is Unfavorable Outcomes of Liposuction and Their Management. It's by Drs. Dixit and Wah. So the first thing I like about the study is it focuses on people of color. I think we have far too much research. It just focuses on um, white people. So I uh, love that this is focused on people of color. And um, let's see, I wanna share um, some things with you and kind of focus on what these uh, doctors say is um, the proper way to treat um, and recover from liposuction. So from January 2007 to December 2012, they have done over 600 cases of liposuction. So these are the results that they have found. Um, the first is that swelling and edema is anticipated after almost every liposuction. So swelling after liposuction is normal. Um, it is controlled by the immediate use of a compression garment for a period of four to six weeks. And the interesting thing I saw um, that I was really interested in is that the um, study, these uh, plastic surgeons found that the edema actually mildly increases um, after the surgery for the first two weeks. So if you feel like your swelling's getting worse, a little bit worse every day, you're not alone and you're not crazy. It's actually in the medical literature that that is true. Um, and then also that the swelling changes to a more firm or woody consistency um, with no pain or discomfort by the end of two to three weeks. So that's um, at the end of two to three weeks, the swelling will change and it'll become into these lumps and bumps, a more firm consistency of swelling. Um, and then they do say sometimes uh, more brawny post-operative uh, edema does happen and it persists after six weeks. And um, they cite Schiffman, and they say that this may be due to excessive trauma to the tissues, leading to an internal burn-like injury. So that would be what's happening if um, these lumps and bumps, or you get a lot of swelling, and it lasts longer than six weeks. Um, I really like this study that they um, looked at their patients over a several year period, hundreds of operations, and found um, that edema is common, that it persists, and that they have all this information about how to reduce the lumps and bumps. So they are talking about surface irregularities. Um, Post-liposuction surface irregularities are where waviness, so this is the lumps and bumps, they can be due to too um, superficial or too much liposuction when there's too much fat is taken out or it's taken out too close to the skin, you can have these complications. Um, fibrosis with adhesion, so this is the really lumpy section. Um, if there's adhesions and it's like a scar tissue, that's when um, coming to a therapist like me who knows lymphatic drainage and some deeper techniques could really um, help you. Um, another uh, reason for the lumps and bumps could be inappropriate compression garment or posture. And then the fourth one is redundant skin, having too much skin. So I'll um, talk about the number three, inappropriate compression garment or posture. Um, so they do um, talk about um, having the right posture and the right garments. Your doctor should give you a um, post liposuction compression garment. Um, it looks like a piece of clothing, um, but oftentimes that's not enough. I've had a lot of success um, with just, this is called an ab board. There's several uh, versions of it on Amazon. I have several versions, a larger and a smaller one in my office. And this helps to keep you upright and it pushes the swelling in evenly, giving you a nice straight um, smooth result on the abdomen. Um, I also have several types of smaller foam pieces that we'll use to kind of push in if you have swelling, uh, little pockets of swelling, we can take care of that. And fibrosis, if a, one particular area is more fibrotic, more lumps and bumps, we can use 
um, a mixture of these compression devices. And the other thing is that the compression device from your doctor is not the only one that you need to wear. I, a lot of my patients that come to see me um, over a several month period, I always encourage them if that garment is starting to feel good, that means you're starting to get smaller. You need a smaller garment. You need to go into the tighter hooks or you need to downsize on the garment. So um, not just one garment. And if it's loose, definitely try to get a smaller one. But at the same time, like the doctors say in the study, you have to have proper posture. Um, if you're leaning over too much and then the skin is allowed to um, kind of uh, gather in one place, you can get lumps and bumps in that area or adhesions. Um, so then the last uh, thing that the doctors were talking about was um, skin laxity. That's when you have uh, too much skin. It'll naturally retract um, and it takes about a year, six months to a year to naturally get smaller. But while there's still a lot of skin um, there, um, they do recommend a well-fitting garment will enhance skin retraction that's getting smaller, getting tighter. An ill-fitting garment, especially associated with bad posture, could also lead to surface irregularities. So that's where it's very important to get the com right compression garment and get that swelling down um, so you can get into the smaller garment. Um, people who are concerned about residual laxity of skin should be asked to wait for at least six months to a year before considering any further surgery. So they do recommend that you kind of let tape nature take its course and um, see how small uh, your body and your skin um, can get before you look into surgery. And then also um, make sure all the swelling is gone out, as much swelling as possible before you get um, skin tightening surfaces, services, um, either from your plastic surgeon or from somewhere else. Um, because if you're tightening the skin and you still have swelling underneath the skin, when you in inevitably get smaller, when that swelling underneath starts going away, the skin's going to be loose again. So we want to get, um, you know, a nice surgery result with this, get all the swelling out with lymphatic drainage, um, use the ab board, use a compression garment that will help reduce the swelling and will, um, the deeper techniques that I use, um, I use IASTM, I use, um, fascia, uh, manipulation and all, uh, those types of massage techniques as well as lymphatic drainage to get rid of the skin adhesions, um, to reduce the lumps and bumps, to get that swelling out, to get you the result um, that you deserve. So this is my review of this wonderful article. It's available online as well. Um, and I, like I said, it's from the Indian Journal of Plastic Surgery um, in 2013. It was published and it's titled Unfavorable Outcomes of Liposuction and Their Management. So if you would like to have an appointment with me here in my office in Pacific Beach, um, just please go to solacesandiego.com. You can email me at solacesandiego at gmail.com or give me a call at 619-880-6538. I would love to help you recover and get the results that you deserve from your liposuction. Thanks and have a good day.